Good morning, Sarah here. Just wanted to encourage you today. There's just one you. Let's be the best you. And this is something that has been really on my heart just over the last night and this morning. Um, I want to remind you that your words, they can really build people up or they can really tear people down. Your words need to be well thought out. Your words need to be prepared with a heart that um, that chooses to give life instead of take it. Because I'll tell you, words cut deeper than a knife. And you really need to be careful. Um, a good friend of mine was really hurt yesterday and it breaks my heart that that carefully crafted words, especially in the written form, text, email, direct message, whatever um, it may be. I feel like it's one thing to read into it, you know, um, when, when there's not courage to come to you face to face, it's easier to obviously understand the heart behind it when you're talking face to face with someone. That's a given, right? A lot of assumptions are made, and when a lot of assumptions are made, we get ourselves in trouble, right? You've heard what assume means. Um, I just, it breaks my heart. It really, truly breaks my heart when people think that um, their words are, especially harsh ones, especially cruel and... Um, um, hurtful words is going to inspire someone to change. You know, that person doesn't want that person to change. That's not why they're sending something nasty, right? They don't care if they change at all. What they want is to spew their venom and they don't care who's in the fallout. And that's really unfortunate. And for those who are receiving, you're on the receiving end um, I hope it does inspire you, if not to be introspective, to never speak to someone the way you were spoken to. I hope it inspires you to respond as the bigger person, right? It's not easy. Oh my goodness, no. You want to retaliate. You want to get revenge. I get that. It's our, it's our um, innate nature, right? We're all... We're all built that way, justice, right? But I'll tell you the truth, you can make more of an impression, more of a difference if you respond in a way that you have self-respect, okay? You stand up for yourself, but you um, don't let that person get the best of you, right? You have a choice, it's getting hot in here, that sounds wow. You have a choice to respond in kind or being kind, right? Assuming that they, if you want to assume anything, assume that they have your best interest. It's a choice to be offended. I've talked about that before. Being offended is a choice. Um, even if people are trying to hurt your feelings, even if people are trying to tear you down, you don't have to own it. You don't have to give them that control. You can choose, you can make the assumption that they were really trying to look out for you. Really trying to make you see a new perspective. Chances are that's not the case, but treat it as such. It's not going to be easy, but it'll make you that much stronger. I'm telling you, you will be better for it because hurting people hurt people. It's the truth. They just do. And I'm really sorry for my friend that she was hurt in this way, but I'm especially sorry for the person who hurt her because there's something going on. There's something going on in their life that they felt the need to, um, to expose something that's not even true just to make themselves feel better. So I just encourage you to be careful. Don't make assumptions. When you're pointing the finger at somebody, guess how many fingers are pointing back at yourself? Looks like three, right? Just be careful with your words. I can't say it enough. There's power in words. Use it for good. I'll take care of myself today. Hopefully you'll take care of yourself today. 
I love you and I truly hope that um, you choose not to be offended and you choose wise words. Take care today.